Hi everyone. As filmmakers, we get asked to do things like green screen. And perhaps you're asked and you haven't brought it with you. Maybe there's not enough time to set it up. Or maybe it's just being a little bit fiddly with actually lighting it as well, trying to get rid of the shadows behind the person. So what can you do about it? Well, in Final Cut Pro, in the latest version, so you do need to upgrade to the latest version, they've got a scene removal mask. And basically, what it does is it will remove the background. What you have to do is have either a frame at the beginning, at least one frame at the beginning or the end without the subject in there and then it can kind of work out the difference. The other thing is try and have your subject have a bit of contrast against your background. So if someone's wearing dark colors and you've got a dark background, well, that might not work so well. So I'm hoping that what I've got on now is gonna work well with it. So we're going to try it out. I'm going to then put it into Final Cut Pro here and show you how that's worked. So what I need to do now is get out of the shot. One of the problems I might have is that the autofocus on the camera might change messing it up a bit. So hopefully we won't do that. I did set the autofocus to slow responsive on this, but I don't know. It would probably have been better to put it into manual focus so it won't change. So let me get out of the shot and then let's see what happens when I put it into Final Cut Pro. So I'm here in Final Cut Pro now and what I've got is my clip here in the timeline and I've trimmed it. I haven't left that uh, scene at the end where I'm not in it or at the beginning because I want to see if it picks it up regardless of whether I've got it, if it's actually picking it up from the entire clip or just from what I put in here. So what I've got to do is go over to my uh, effects over here. So my effects browser, I'm just going to click on that. And I could scroll down to find scene removal, but I'm just going to type it in the search here, which will speed things up. There it is. I'm just going to drop it in. And it's removed a lot. So let's just have a look here at the properties. So over here, the reference it's using is the first frame. I could have chosen the first frame plus one second. So, you know, if you know if that happens to be blank or that one over there. So that's the last frame less than one second and also the last frame. So it appears to me that in all of these, those were all got the blank background. Now I did mention in here about, you know, making sure that the autofocus isn't on and that I had it on a slow response. And that seems to have worked here. I'm in front of the camera and filming myself, but if you were filming someone else, well, that wouldn't be so difficult because you could just put it into manual and do the focusing yourself. So I'm going to leave it here on this last frame. I should have taken the laptop out of the scene as well, because obviously it's now thinking that it's part of it. So what I'm going to do Let's just lift this from the storyline. Let's just put something into the background here. I've got this duck. Maybe you wouldn't have a duck in the background. Let's just see um, how good this is. Let's retime to fit. And there you've got this in the background. And yes, you can see it's taken out the laptop. Interesting effect there. Maybe, as I said, I should have removed that as well. But on the whole, I'm looking at this. I'm just going to go into full screen, that's done a pretty good job. I'm actually really impressed and I think this needs to be uh, looked into a bit further, aside from the fact that it's taken out the laptop here. So that's something that I'll have to think about. If I've got something that I'm using, such as a camera and doing a demonstration, um, and it's on a tripod, I might have to think about everything that's say in the foreground taken away from that. But I think this has worked actually pretty well. So if I was you, and I'm gonna try this myself, I'm going to actually use this and see how it works. I'm gonna try it a bit more just to make sure that it does it in different scenarios, different backgrounds. But actually, I'm really happy with this. So maybe what I could have done here actually is actually just do a bit of scaling up to cut that out and maybe let's just move this down here and see how 
good about it. Not, not the most perfect thing to do, but that's worked out pretty well. Maybe a bit of color grading and things like that would actually help a bit too in making this look really nice. Well, maybe this is the future. We won't need to use green screens and that, you know, that's going to potentially make our jobs easier. Maybe even with AI machine learning, this will get better and better. And well, we can travel a bit lighter, speedier setups and things like that. At the moment, green screen does still have its place. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.